Are you putting in the effort, following all the advice, and still not seeing the results you want? Or what if everything you thought you knew about fitness was actually holding you back? How much time and energy can you save if you just knew the truth? Today, I'm gonna to expose five fitness myths that are keeping you from getting in the best shape of your life, and more importantly, how you can ditch these myths and finally see real results in 2025. I'm Lewis, I'm a fitness coach with nearly a decade of experience helping busy professionals in high demand roles transform their bodies without sacrificing their careers, families, or sanity. And if you're ready to stop spinning your wheels and actually start seeing real progress, stick with me until the end, because I've got a free quiz that'll show you exactly what's holding you back. Plus, I'll give you a simple, actionable plan to help you achieve these goals next year. Before we jump in, let me tell you about one of my clients, Alex. Alex was a busy entrepreneur, stuck in a cycle of misinformation, trying all the wrong things and burning himself out in the process. He worked out almost every day, obsessed over the number on the scale and tried all the latest trends, but nothing stuck. He was frustrated, tired and convinced he just didn't have the time or energy to get in shape. Fast forward a few months and he's now in the best shape of his life, working out only three days a week and eating in a way that actually fits his schedule. Well, how did we do it? Well, by busting these very myths I'm about to share with you now. So myth one, you have to work out every day to see results. We've all heard this phrase, the more you put in, the more you get out. That might be true in some areas. When it comes to fitness, more isn't always better, especially if you're a busy professional. Working out every day can actually be counterproductive, leaving you fatigued and prone to injury, which ultimately stalls your progress. The truth, your body needs rest and recovery to actually grow stronger. If you're working out every single day, you're not giving your muscles the chance to recover and rebuild. In fact, if you watch many of these videos, you'll know that I say just three, 30 minutes strength training sessions a week are enough to transform your body and get you in the best shape of your life. This is where the metabolic activation protocol, a core part of my ultimate accelerator four step system, which all my clients follow comes in. It's designed to give you maximum results with minimal time spent in the gym which means you've got more time to spend in other areas of your life. My client Alex, who I reference, used to work out six times a week, often leaving him exhausted. Once we scaled back to three targeted full body sessions, his energy soared and his body finally started to respond. By focusing, of course, on the right exercises and giving his body time to recover, he actually achieved better results in less time. So if you're working out every day, two hour sessions, thinking that's the key to success, stop. It's about quality, not quantity. Focus on efficient, effective workouts to hit all muscle groups in just three sessions per week. Okay, myth two, cardio is the best way to lose fat. The years people have believed that cardio is king when it comes to fat loss. And while cardio does have its place, if you're relying solely on cardio to get lean, you're missing out on the most effective tool in your fitness arsenal, which is strength training. The truth, as we know, resistance training builds muscle and muscle burns more calories at rest than fat does. When you focus on building lean muscle through compound movements like squats, deadlifts, presses, rows, etc., you'll not only get stronger at core movements, but actually look like it lifts, which is of course what we're all here for, right? Without spending hours on the treadmill. In the adaptive fueling system, part of the ultimate accelerator system, which I use with my clients, we focus on giving your body the fuel it needs to perform while balancing it with strength training to burn fat and build muscle at the same time, or as close to it as we can, of course, because if you're someone who's a bit newer compared to someone like myself who's been training 12, 13 years, it will be a little bit harder to do both at the same time, but we give it the best shot. So going back to my client example, Alex was obsessed with running. He thought it was the best way to shed fat, but no matter how much he ran, his physique stayed the same. Once we switched him to strength training three times a week with just a bit of walking or some light cardio like running because he just enjoyed it, he started to actually lose fat while maintaining muscle, if not growing muscle. And he didn't have to spend hours sweating it out on the treadmill 24 seven. So stop prioritizing cardio as your main fat loss strategy. Instead, focus on strength training to build muscle and using nutrition to manipulate a calorie deficit to drop fat, if that is your goal. With three, you have to eat clean all the time. The clean eating trend has been around for years, but here's the thing, eating clean 100% of the time is not only unnecessary, it's also unsustainable. If you're a time poor, low energy, busy professional who has work lunches, dinners with clients or your co-workers and unpredictable schedules, trying to stick to a restricted diet will only set you up for failure. The truth, you don't need to deprive yourself to get an amazing shape. The key to success is flexibility and balance, which is where the adaptive fueling system comes in. We focus on the 80-20 rule, meaning 80% of the time you're eating whole, nutrient-dense foods, but the other 20% is for flexibility, enjoying meals out, indulging in your favorite foods, and living life without guilt. My client, who I keep referencing, used to follow restrictive diets. 
quitting out entire food groups and feeling miserable every time we had to attend a work event or family gathering, didn't know what to do. Once we implemented the AFS system, which includes tracking calories for at least one to two weeks to gain clarity on eating habits, Alex found the balance between enjoying his life and staying on track with his fitness goals. By tracking for a short period, he knew exactly where to improve. And from there, he could be much more flexible. Stop believing you have to be perfect. Flexibility is the key to sustainability, and that's how we'll achieve long-term success ultimately. Myth four, spot reduction is possible. One of the biggest myths out there is that you can target specific areas for fat loss. Whether it's doing 100 crunches to lose belly fat or endless tricep dips to tone your arms. The idea that you can choose where to burn fat is a total myth. The truth, well, fat loss happens all over your body. You can't pick and choose where it comes from. To get rid of fat in any area, you need to reduce your overall body fat percentage. And the best way to do that, strength training and nutrition, otherwise known as being in an energy deficit, calorie deficit, not endless targeted exercises. We need to be in a calorie deficit over a period of time to actually drop body fat. So when my client first came to me, he was doing hundreds of crunches a day, trying to lose belly fat. Once we shifted his focus to a full body strength training routine and balanced nutrition, the fat around his midsection started to disappear. And he didn't have to waste hours doing ineffective exercises. If you want to lose fat, forget about spot reduction. Focus on overall fat loss and your body will take care of the rest. Myth five, you need tons of supplements to see results. Let's be real, supplement companies make a fortune convincing a million different products to get in shape. But here's the truth, supplements are just that, supplements. They're not a replacement for hard work, proper nutrition or consistent training. Only supplements that are truly worth your time and money are the basics, protein powder and creatine. These can help you hit your protein targets and improve your performance. That's personally what I take every single day, but the magic happens with nutrition, training, and recovery. Not in a pill or a powder. When Alex started, my client, he had a cupboard full of supplements he'd seen promoted on social media, but he was still frustrated with his lack of results. Once we focused on nutrition, strength training, and recovery, he saw better results without the need for all these extra supplements. Stop wasting money on products that promise miracles. Focus on the basics and you'll see better results that any supplement can provide, unless they're steroids, of course. So these are the five fitness myths that are holding you back from achieving your best physique in 2025. Stop believing you need to work out every day, relying solely on cardio, eat clean all the time, spot reduced body fat, or spend a fortune on supplements. Instead, focus on efficient strength training, balanced nutrition, and smart recovery to get the results you want without disrupting your busy schedule. If you're ready to take the next step, click the link below to take my completely free body health and performance quiz. It'll help you uncover exactly what's holding you back and give you a personalized plan to hit your goals in 2025. And before you go, check out this video somewhere over here. It's packed with more tips to help you build an amazing physique without sacrificing your time or energy.